Hey guys, it's Panda here. I'm uh, coming live from the creative building world that I have for uh, the Geometra stuff and everything for planning. Um, I just wanted to come on here really quickly before the video starts and give a quick explanation of what's been going on because, you know, I've been pretty quiet, pretty silent in the Discord um, across everything, really. And uh, it's been a long time since the last video came out. You know, it's it's been well over a month now at this point. So... What's going on exactly? Um, well, a lot of things. Uh, September is just, you know, without uh, the other things going on in my life, September is usually a pretty big month for me. Um, you know, I have an anniversary with my girlfriend, and then I also have a lot of uh, really close family birthdays that all happen um, right in the month of September, you know. So it's always pretty hectic for me during this time of the year. But on top of that, this year... Um, we added in combination to my already busy schedule, um, moving. Yeah, I have moved locations now. I'm not even sure if you can tell in the video, like how I sound, but I'm in a completely different space than I was before. Um, super excited for that though, because where I'm at now is probably going to allow me to do things like stream and stuff like that a lot more and just have, you know, some better opportunities with some content creation stuff. So I'm, Super excited about that. Um, also, during this time, I started uh, back at college. You know, I'm a full-time student um, working hard to, you know, get a degree and everything. To put the icing on the cake, you know, where where I live um, and everything, we also were hit with two uh, pretty severe uh, tropical storms slash hurricanes, like right in the process of me moving. So that inevitably delayed things like being able to move boxes and stuff, and then also with our internet service provider, um, them being able to actually come out to my new place and install my Wi-Fi. So, yeah, guys, um, with all that being said, though, I'll stop the yapping and get back to the video. Um, I just wanted to give a quick update and, you know, come on here and say these things um, just so you knew that I'm I'm addressing, I guess, what what's been going on because... I do know it has been quite a while, and I don't want to leave you guys in the dark. So, yeah, guys, without further ado, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And uh, keep in mind, too, um, this was recorded little bits and pieces in the old place and the new place, so there is a little bit of weirdness uh, going on. You'll probably hear that in some of the audio, but uh, hopefully by the next video, everything will be squared away and just be um, standard, you know, regular quality and everything like that. But, yeah, guys, I will catch y'all later hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of project geometra we are back here today again on the server um hanging out in the workshop you know just doing some bits and bobs and everything getting some resources together and everything like that and uh yeah guys we are chilling we got a lot of things that i've planned for today's episode a lot of fun things um pretty exciting uh, things, especially as far as create goes. It's going to be a very uh, create mod focused episode this episode. So hopefully uh, y'all enjoy that and you stay tuned for all that. But yeah, guys, it's it's honestly been, uh, been quite crazy since uh, everything happened in the last episode. And what what is what is that out there? Hold on, guys. One second. Why, hello there, sir. Hey, what's going on? Oh, uh... Hey, guys, uh, what's... What seems to be going on here? Like, are you guys... I mean, you obviously got, like, a crew out here, and you're, like... And you're building and stuff. Like, what's... What's exactly going on here? Well, it's quite simple, actually. When we first visited, we looked at the local surroundings and decided that... This area would probably be profitable in the near future. I mean, with you and your friends building a city and whatnot, it seems like the prime opportunity to create a new market for business, yes. Yeah, what the old man said. I mean, that's interesting, you know. I, I don't doubt there's a lot of potential here and everything, but you guys could have could have asked maybe before you decided to, you know, just start building a, a shop and all that. I mean, I guess it's not really too big of a problem 
Oh my, I mean, we were not trying to encroach. We were just trying to strike while the iron's hot, as they say. Oh, indubitably. Yeah, we were trying to get our money up, not our funny up, if you know what I mean. You know what? I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this, you know. Let's, uh, you know, we're, we're all businessmen here. Let's, let's figure out a deal here, right? So. Oh, I love a deal. I'm thinking, you know, I let you guys build this shop and sell out of out of this area because this is kind of my territory over here you know you're kind of encroaching on it especially because you didn't ask and everything um and you know let's let's be nice let's let's spread the positivity a little bit but let's you know i'm gonna take um you know give me give me like 10 percent equity here in the business you know whatever sales y'all make and um also you know i'm sure uh if you wanted it to go over well with like some of the other fellas, uh, maybe, maybe you could drop Regent's uh, debt that he owes you for uh, the lab equipment. Yeah, all right, we'll drop the debt for the lab boy. I feel like this deal isn't the fairest, but you know we didn't ask for permission, so I guess this is us uh, paying the price. If if, if you know what I mean. <laughs> if I'm okay with it and Regent's okay with it, I'm sure Cipher would be okay with y'all building here. So. Um, yeah, drop his debt, and then I'm going to get 10% equity in whatever sales y'all make or whatever, but, yeah, I mean, God, you got, you got a whole construction crew here, like, you mind if I, you mind if I go step in and, and see, see what's going on? Yes, that would be fine, but make sure you put on the safety equipment. We wouldn't have want OSHA coming out here and shutting us down. Yeah, safety first. That's the number one rule. And don't you forget it. Okay, okay, okay. I'll make sure to to get my safety equipment on. Let me, let me, uh, you guys got an extra set somewhere? Yes, on the other side of the building, over where that bulldozer is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go grab some from, uh, from the crew. Give me one second. All right, everyone. Now that I'm all OSHA approved, let's, uh, go talk to the crew and see, uh, kind of what they're about. I, uh, you know, these are obviously new people new friends to potentially make so let's uh where is this guy over here oh he's he's down here dilly hey man what's up hey man what's up dilly's the name construction's the game oh okay okay yeah the construction company's owned by my sister daffy and we also got another brother named dally but he doesn't talk too much. Together we're a family run business. Oh, your sister runs this runs this company. So I should talk to her. Yeah. She's the boss lady, alright. Okay, I'll give I'll give her a chat real quick. She's up she's up here. I hope I can climb this and not get into any trouble. Hold on one second, guys. Uh hey there. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. It's hard work out here building, but the money is alright, so can't complain too much. Yeah, well, this is a pretty cool uh, thing you're doing here with your brothers. I mean, construction company, this is this is not easy work at all. Yeah, me and my brothers have been doing this for a while. I'm really the glue that holds us all together, though. Yeah, of course. I mean, I think there's a lot of potential here in, in Geometra. And, you know, if we're going to build a city, you know, we might need the help of some builders like you. So uh, I might honestly stay in contact if that's cool. Yeah, that's fine. We are always looking for more work. Feel free to holler. We won't complain. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll get up with the fellas and get your Pokenav uh, your Pokenav information. But yeah, thanks thanks for helping them. By the way, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's no problem, honey. Alrighty. Well, uh, I'll see you later. See ya. Yeah, it seems like you guys got a pretty solid crew over there. I mean, the the one guy doesn't talk, but I mean, that's not really a, a big deal. Yes, I would hope so. They caused a pretty penny. Yeah. Well, well, fellas, I got a I got stuff to do, so I'm going to get on with that. But as always, uh, you know, keep it uh, keep it ethical, keep it keep it business like you know don't want to get a bad rep for ourselves we'll try to and we'll send that information of the builder over to your workshop 
Okay, sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Okay, guys, but now that we've kind of figured out, you know, what they're doing over there, uh, we need to get back into what we're doing. We've got a lot planned for today. So, uh, the first thing I want to do, and it's very important, very crucial, is that I have not been able to, for the life of me, get the idea of, you know, that mysterious cage thing that we found in that other dimension when we went to go rescue Cypher, like, out of my head, like... I don't know, there's just something in my brain that's telling me, like, it's so important and that we need to, you know, harness it and, you know, utilize it for our purposes and everything. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on my suit here. I'm going to make a trek out there to the dimension. And I'm also prepared, like, a little kit here with just some, like, bare essentials of some things that I think I'm going to need to maybe prototype a way to uh, either replicate or harness its potential. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So, you know, through some, through some observations and through some engineering know-how and and everything you know i was able to actually determine right that based on you know the the atmosphere that this is in i actually collected some of the stone-like material from the surrounding area and you know then was able to use a little bit of iron here to turn it into kind of a similar cage uh perspective right of what this is capable of doing, right? So, I'm hoping, you know, that with this, you know, this is an empty cage, so I'm hoping that when I, you know, I've just, this is theory crafted, right? So, there's a great chance that this thing, I mean, there's flames and stuff coming off of this, this could, like, burn my hand, so maybe there should be some safety exercised here, but uh, I'm hoping that when, you know, I go to use this empty cage on this on this thing here that hopefully we will get a um you know we'll get this this utilization here so let's go for it and you know hope we don't explode oh and it looks like we did looks like we did yeah we we've got the creature in here and it follows us around and everything now this creature isn't spinning which is very peculiar to say the least I mean I wonder I wonder if the component of this like the main component is actually the heat that it provides right and I wonder I wonder if there would be a way to utilize the heat for better applications I mean oh my like I, I just had a thought right so Right now, we're just using water wheels and and windmills and stuff, but what if we were able to utilize the heat setup from, from this guy, if this guy produces heat, you know, given, given the proper materials and stuff, and then set it up in a, in a system where, like our, our tanks that already are collecting water for us and everything, we create, like, steam, right? Because if, if we had steam, we could... We could technically, you know, move move some components around. I mean, like, that's kind of just how steam engines work. In the space of engineering, but um, I think what I'm going to do, because it also looks like it didn't deplete when I, when I, you know, utilize this here. I think what I'm going to do is make a couple more of these guys and... You know, really, uh, hopefully this doesn't deplete it, yeah. So we can just collect a bunch of these guys. And I think now what we'll do is we'll just head back to the base and maybe start messing around with some of the heating elements of what this guy provides. I'm going to clean up my, my little workstation here, but yeah, guys, I'm going to catch you guys back when we're in the base and hopefully we can get to tinkering around with this, uh, with this new heat source 
I think is a more appropriate thing to call it instead of a power generation method. But yeah, we'll uh we'll head there and get on our way back and I'll pick things up where uh when we're back in the the workshop. So yeah, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back. And I think what I want to test first, right, before the steam and everything, because I actually had a a pretty interesting idea when we were on our way back, is actually the utilization, right, of um, a couple of things, right? So I noticed that, uh, you know, heat and everything, this is probably going to need some sort of, like, extreme heat source, right? Probably, I mean, I think we can use whatever, right? Like, because I, I was messing around with some wood, right? And he'll, he'll take the wood and start burning up, right? But by that logic, right, we'd probably want like a really good heat source. So the immediate thought that came to my head was like a lava bucket, right? So that's what we're going to use for this. But I also got an idea of what if we used our, like, what if we used our abilities to actually uh, combine and do some alloying of some metals, right? Because that's one thing that, like, is really not common here. I mean, all the ores and metals that we've found have been just from the ground. They're naturally occurring, and we don't really have a means to do any, like, alloy, alloying or anything like that. So I wanted to test it here with just some cheap... Uh, resources some zinc and some copper you know nothing nothing too expensive like our iron or you know whatever but I'm thinking right that with these mixers because we saw how they made the mud and combine those items together I'm thinking right and here's my thought process if we put one of these guys down here right and then we give it the heat source okay that then heats up the basin right and let me take all this stuff out the straw and the mud and then we can throw in some of our materials oh yeah look at that brass which that, that makes sense that makes sense you know zinc and copper would make brass but now we have brass ingots now what can we i mean oh my we can use these for a lot of things from what it looks like yeah, brass casings. Oh my, we, we can make even more stuff with this. So I think w with that being said, let's let's get to tinkering with this brass and some of this newfound stuff because I'm sure this is going to open up a ton of doors for our create projects and everything like that. <laughs> y'all after many trials and tribulations i think i've finally come up with something that is going to be the next piece of our uh, create arsenal if you would call it um this little guy right here is the deployer right and this is going to allow us to do a lot of really really cool things right um that i kind of have a plan for already but as you can see you know when we give it rotational force it will uh, interact with the blocks and also not obstruct them and everything so this is pretty pretty good but now that we have this guy secured um we just now need to do a couple more things we need to get a couple of resources together do a couple of you know gathering up some things maybe get a couple more of these deployers but once we do that uh, the next creation that we're going to be building is going to tie directly in to what we were doing in the last episode with our diglet, right? And I think you guys are going to be pretty stoked for what I have in store. So let me go gather those materials, and when I do, I will come back and build this contraption for you guys. So, yeah, I'll see you in a few.
right, folks. And with that, our drill here is done. Um, this took not a ton of time to construct um, or get the materials for. The most tedious part was getting these drills. But uh, yeah, I designed this tunnel bore slash drilling system after the uh, Pokemon drill burr, and I think it turned out very well. Of course, it has to start raining um, and everything. So one thing before we start messing around with this guy is that while we were collecting the materials for him, I actually, uh, you know, needed to upgrade my tools and make them better for, you know, collecting more resources and everything. And in doing so, I made an enchantment setup. As you can see, my uh, my tools are enchanted in my hotbar here. And I did record a little bit of me building this, but unfortunately that footage got messed up while I was doing it. Um, so now I'm gonna show it to you now before we go anywhere else. But I designed this room down here um, in a very, uh, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, it was described to me as demonic, but that's not necessarily what I was going for. But, you know, it's very spooky, very mystical or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is just so we have a place to enchant our stuff and everything. And we actually already, we haven't gotten crazy enchantments, right? Because getting XP is actually a little difficult um, in Geometra. But as you can see on our pickaxe here, the main enchant to point out here is that we actually were lucky enough and after a couple tries and a couple um, levels and stuff we were able to get a vein mining um, enchantment which is super super nice for collecting ores like it makes getting things like coal and iron and, and diamonds and redstone and stuff just so much so much easier um, and makes it to where we you know don't have to mine each individual block it's pretty it's pretty cool stuff but now that that's been uh, squared away, let's go ahead over here and let's actually start messing around with our uh, drill here. So the way this drill actually works, that is, you know, the question here. Um, we're actually utilizing the cart assembler from the create mod. And what this allows it to do is when we put a mine cart here on this rail and then we give it a little bit of redstone, we activate it. Um, all this stuff that's glued together as you can see we've we've glued it all and that's also why i had the schematic in and place it in um it'll actually um connect to this so there's like a little bit of you know glued stuff right here and everything and what it will essentially do is move all this and turn it into a contraption right so these drills will start working um they'll mine in front of it the items will then get put into the chest and everything like that and one of the main reasons why I was holding off on making something like this was because of our access to the deployers, right? So as you can see here, I have some filters set for them. Uh, this one's cobblestone and this one's rails. But essentially, when this is a contraption and it's going, um, the cobblestone will get placed down uh, in a block. So it'll, you know, imagine the spruce log is cobblestone, right? And then on top of that, the rail will get placed. And what this allows this to do um, because we have this little mechanical plow in the back each time this moves forward um, it's going to pick up this rail this rail right here right so it'll move forward pick up this rail it goes back into the chest and then it can place it down right so essentially these are like these three rails is all that we need to get this guy going um that and a little bit more but uh one important feature and one important note here is that inside of this guy um, we need to set this to lock rotation, right? Because if it's not set to lock rotation, it will um, face in the wrong direction, which we, or it'll actually start spinning, right? Uh, which we do not want it to do. So there's also one more point of noting here, and that the minecart that we're putting into this cart assembler is actually a minecart with a furnace, right? And what this is going to allow us to do is whenever we give the minecart some coal, it's gonna move it forward and at a nice kind of like steady pace. And this way we don't have to worry about things like powered rails or, you know, redstone blocks or whatever, um, which might get annoying. Um, there might be a way to combat it, but we'll just have to see um, later on. But for right now, this is gonna work for what we need to do. 
So, the thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to place this cart in here, right? And when we do that, I'm going to flip this lever, right? And as you can see, it's done a little block update. And now this is a contraption technically. And what's cool about when you do this and you do it with the cart and everything is that if you then shift right click it with a wrench, you can pick it up and you can move it to where you uh, need to move it. Now, I think this glue is going to stay here, which I don't know if that's going to be problematic or not. We'll just have to see or not, but I'll leave it for right now. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab these rails here and I don't necessarily need the blocks. And do we have, yeah, we do have coal here. I already put it away. Um, but what we need to do now is we need to essentially go into the mines. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of cobblestone. So we'll put this here and then power you. And then you get going in the right direction now. Yep. And then I put a little seat here so we can ride along while it's going. But as we can see, this is now functioning and it's drilling us through uh, the earth and everything like that. Right. And OK, you know, not cheating, not cheating. Um, But <laughs> I just once the other benefit to this, too, is like one, there's like the mining aspect of it and everything. Right. But two. Um, it's the fact that we are going to also benefit with being able to clear out uh, large areas, right? So, as you can see, this clears out a pretty big uh, section of, like, room or whatever. Which is really good, because that kind of ties into what we're doing next in our next project, which is going to be built in an underground space, right? So, yeah, guys, I'm gonna let this guy run for a little bit eventually it will run out of coal i'm only putting in one piece at a time but i think one piece of coal will actually let it travel a, a pretty decent amount um and we don't really have to like worry about it running out for a while so yeah i'm just gonna let it run do some mining and i'll come back once we've done a little bit Alright guys, as you can see behind me, um, we have actually cleared out a pretty large space uh, with all, with this mining machine, you know, it's it's honestly pretty incredible what it's able to do in such a short amount of time. Um, but you also should have just seen from the footage that I just played uh, right before this segment, is that I did a little bit of item, you know, transportation uh, set up here. And we utilized a lot of our brass um, to do this and even, you know, use some new components like the uh, the redstone link here um, to do wireless redstone and stuff. But it's really cool how it all works. Um, I'm not going to go too, too in depth with it. But as you can see, you know, a lot of this stuff is just powered by water wheels and gear rotations. And then kind of the only thing of note here is that these item vaults hold a lot of, of items right and this threshold switch this guy's really nice um will actually tell us or what it'll do actually will turn off the um it'll turn off this belt so it'll stop loading items if this guy's full and then we have you know a a, a system at the top that will um also you know kind of store our items above ground here but it's all super cool stuff, super cool stuff. Oh, let me stand over here so we got a little bit more light. Um, but yeah, guys, that's probably where I'm going to end today's episode off at. I know it's kind of been a crazy slash hectic one, as I explained uh, kind of at the very beginning of this video. Um, but I've just had a ton IRL going on. Um, but, you know, I wanted to work on this and get this out for you guys because I really have been missing this series in kind of my absence and everything but yeah guys as always if you like the video like comment subscribe do all that fun stuff 
and let me know what you might want to see in the next one. I've got a couple ideas for some things that I want to do, and uh, hopefully we do a little bit with the boys maybe. But uh, yeah, guys, I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.